Systemic anticoagulation is required for hemolung therapy. Prior to connecting to the hemolung RAS, a target activated clotting time of 150 to 180 seconds or activated partial thromboplastin time of 1.5 to 2 times baseline is recommended. To begin therapy, check for air in circuit, check for secure connections, connect oxygen if selected, ensure seal flush is running at 30 milliliters per hour, ensure all clamps are open, lock the wheel casters, press start therapy. Press and hold the pump start stop button to start the pump. Once initiated, the system will run at a default pump speed of 500 revolutions per minute and sweep gas flow rate of one liter per minute. The pump speed and sweep gas flow rate can be slowly adjusted to the desired settings while carefully monitoring the patient. To adjust the blood flow rate, use the lower set of arrow keys. To adjust the sweep gas flow rate, use the upper set of arrow keys. CO2 removal is dependent on three fundamental factors. Patient P CO2, sweep gas flow rate, blood flow rate. The main therapy screen is the primary screen used while the hemolung RAS is providing therapy. This screen allows you to view CO2 removal rate and blood flow rate, evaluate trending therapy data, and obtain help on system operation and alarms. To change the historical CO2 removal graphic, press the trending button to cycle between eight hours, 24 hours, and seven days. During therapy, the controller automatically enters a purge cycle every 15 minutes. This creates a vacuum in the sweep gas circuit to remove any moisture. During the cycle, the on-screen CO2 removal will be temporarily paused. Routinely monitor the patient during therapy. Monitor anticoagulation adequately. ACT 150 to 180 seconds or APTT 1.5 to 2 times baseline. Monitor the controller for CO2 removal. Monitor ventilator status. Monitor arterial blood gases. Monitor patient's general condition, including temperature. Ensure correct sweep gas is used for patient needs. Inspect catheter insertion site. Routinely inspect the system during therapy. Inspect circuit for any leaks, including blood and silicone sweep gas tube and vacuum canister. Inspect system for air bubbles or blood clots. Monitor for excessive device vibration. Maintain seal flush with saline infusion at 30 milliliters per hour. Ensure controller is always connected to AC power, except for transport. Ensure cartridge is always below level of patient. All clamps are open. Have a backup cartridge kit available during therapy. Monitor and respond to any system alarms. Ensure correct sweep gas is used. Routine tasks during therapy. The vacuum canister will need to be replaced daily. Start by assembling a new vacuum canister. Securely seat the lid by applying pressure around the entire circumference of the lid. Next, cap the two unused ports, accessory, and tandem. Disconnect the vacuum tube from the center port labeled vacuum source on the old canister and attach it to the new one. Disconnect the sweep gas elbow from the port labeled patient on the old canister and attach it to the new one. An alarm will temporarily appear on screen during the vacuum canister change and will clear within approximately one minute. It is also necessary to replenish the seal flush fluid using saline on a daily basis. Do this according to your institution's protocol. Catheter maintenance and insertion site care is also recommended per your institution's protocol. Either room air or oxygen may be used for the sweep gas. To use oxygen, first connect the oxygen hose to the hemolung controller. Press the sub-menu button followed by the settings button to display the selection screen. 
Turn on oxygen. Use the arrow keys to select oxygen. Then press the main menu button to return to the therapy screen. Managing alarms. Alarm notifications are prioritized by the device. The highest priority alarm has precedence over any others if multiple occur. Only the highest priority alarm is listed in the notification area. Alarms are categorized by their color. Red are high priority. Yellow are medium and low priority. High priority alarms notify you of an urgent safety hazard. This could result in diminished therapy, delivery, or loss of therapy. An immediate response is required. In certain cases, the pump is stopped to prevent harm to the patient. Medium priority alarms are to notify you of unexpected system operation. A prompt response is required to prevent diminished system performance. The pump will continue to run. Low priority alarms are used to notify you of unexpected system operation. This alarm can be caused by a component failure. The pump will, again, continue to run. Audible alarms can be paused or turned off using the Audible Alarm button. Pressing it once will pause the alarm for two minutes. Holding the button down will turn off the alarm indefinitely. Pressing the button again or the occurrence of a new alarm will reactivate the Audible alarm. To view all active alarms, press Submenu followed by Status. To view alarm help text, press Show Help. For complete instructions, refer to the Hemolung RAS instructions for use.